Well guys, this is going to be the last time for a while at least, I believe. Well, actually no. We'll be back here pretty soon. But um, we are moving the skyline to the new shop, uh, which is not new at all. Uh, we've had it at the house for a really long time. We've just been using it as storage. Uh, but we finally got it cleared out, so I'm going to be taking it over kind of as my garage space sort of filming studio area, uh, which is going to be super sick. Um, kind of help motivate me to make videos and to go out and get stuff done on the car. And yeah, it should be good. So I'm really excited to get, you know, sort of back into it, I guess. And like, I'm just excited to do stuff. It's going to be cool. So uh, I've got all my stuff loaded up in the skyline. And, uh,. We're going to take it on over yonder. So we're in the new shop. We pulled the skyline in last night. I kind of just got tools set up and whatnot. But I got my own little setup going. We've got some of my own tools in here. We bought a jack yesterday that's kind of behind the curtain. And some jack stands and now the skyline's in the air. And Got my buddy Anthony helping out today. Yeah. What's up, bro? <laughs> I wasn't giving He just ground down the back side of the welds on the fenders so that it's nice and smooth and we can rub freely um, without like totally ruining the tires. Now he's going to go to the other side and do the same thing and I'm going to stay over here and kind of fuck with the hammer and dolly and uh, see how much I can shape the fenders. over here forming um the fenders are forming out pretty well uh stretching a lot and some of the welds broke a little bit so we'll have to go back in there and tack them up again uh we have to do some trimming up at the front here um but i think i've got the fenders pretty even i think it's probably about time we start grinding paint off so we can get a really good look at how everything is um, rather than having all of this just crap that's on there now so I think me and Anthony should probably just grind some paint. So I just cracked uh, one of my welds right here. So you can see how thin this stuff is. So I was right. This is this is getting a little sketch. So when you grind down the welds on the back side of these, be more careful than we were. We ground these down a little bit too far. So we're gonna go back and weld the back side, I think is probably a good idea actually. So I think we'll probably tack the back sides of the lips together and then grind them down again. Um, and then we'll do some final welds like this corner piece here that we did. Uh, we'll fit, do some finishing pieces and then we'll cut this lip and be good. A wing like this. Anthony got a car. Jonas has had cars. It's time for me to get a car. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully soon. Maybe this week. Maybe today. Maybe today. Probably Maybe not. Today. Probably not. Probably not. I'm trying to just shape these right now. Try to get them to fit up right how I want them. Because I keep going back and forth. I keep tripping out on them a little bit. I think cutting them is going to help a lot. If you look at the body line and you look down the car, they are perfect. But I'm just tripping. I'm worrying about it a whole lot. It's a fucking race car. They're going to be broken most of the time anyway. <laughs> Uh, no copyright. Uh, sorry, I don't get. Please, YouTube. We're struggling, man. Just, just give us a break, man. 
Yeah, look at me. I'm struggling. <laughs> What's up, bro? Nothing, dude. Schwab is putting Bondo on the skyline right now. Putting him on the uh, passenger side fender. I don't know what to do. I'm we're, shit on it. We're just yeah. doing stuff, man. Yeah. This is totally wrong. Totally not how you're supposed to do this. And I'm probably... Yeah, this is just not, like... This is wrong. <laughs> just here, let me see. It's interesting. I got yogurt all over my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Filming yogurt ting. We had vanilla yogurt and we turned it into strawberry yogurt. Let me take this. Put some Bondo on the passenger side fender, and now I'm gonna go on over to the driver's side. All right, guys, uh, we got Bondo on both fenders. Uh, we're waiting for it to dry. I kind of quit last night after like probably two or three hours of just sanding on this Bondo. Um, because we hand sanded the whole thing. Probably shouldn't have. It would have been way quicker to use the actual sander. Um, the orbital sander. But we didn't. Which was dumb. Um, yeah. So. We still need a ton of work. But. I'm pretty pretty over it for, for right this second. So I'm going to go take a break and edit this footage and we'll come back out and all right guys so I have gone now and I have sprayed over the fenders they look pretty good they're definitely not perfect yet but the this is looking pretty good the other side is extremely haggard and I'm definitely gonna have to go back and do a ton of work to it right here it's lifted up extra right here it's not rounded enough so I have to go back with the dolly and pull this metal out actually I'm going to get the car on the ground, and then we'll get the bumper back on, kind of back it out a little bit, and um, and I'll show you guys what I can of the fenders, and the wheels, and the car overall, um, and I think that'll be it for the day. I'll tell you what, there's a very clear good side and bad side to this car. So here's the good side. Looks real nice. Nice big fenders, lots of room for bigger wheels. Same thing in the back. And same thing on this side as well. There's a lot more camber on this side, uh, about a degree and a half. And then um, I believe this side is about a degree and a half more than this side too. I don't know. Uh, I know the alignment's all wonky on this thing right now, but, um, it's looking pretty damn good. Like, man, she looks darn tootin'. Thing's gonna look really, really good once these fenders are all painted. I also put on my turn signals. 
Uh, I just put those in because it's nice for now. God, these stairs are really great. Just for like. Yeah.